Welcome to Scaffolding Software's overview of the iSCAF application for the drawing, design and estimation of scaffolding solutions. iSCAF is sold around the world into many different markets and as such, iSCAF supports a very wide variety of scaffolding systems including quick stage, cup lock, layer, ring lock and ring lock variations, at pack, as well as various frame, scaffold, seating and grandstand systems. ISCAF is available in metric and imperial systems and it integrates well with our IRANT and iQuote modules. The software supports a growing list of more than 80 different scaffolding systems and through its constant development cycle and its ability to be customised, more systems are being added as demand requires. We've just imported a PDF plan of a building and selected a page with dimension markers. We are using those dimensions to automatically and quickly scale the plan so that iSCAF knows the real life dimensions of the building, ready for us to create a scaffold plan. Now that we have quickly completed that, we are going to crop out parts of the plan that are not needed for our design. There is our scaled building plan that we can now rapidly design a scaffold solution around. Prior to laying out the plan, we enter iSCAF setup, where we can set the default parameters for our drawing. This includes a default bay height or top lift height, bay widths, side bracket or hop up sizes, the default deck layout, where we can set them to repeat every 2 metres down from top left height. Or we can set specific individual levels, as we are going to set here, a deck at 6.5 metres and another at 4.5 metres. We will repeat those levels for our side decks or hop-ups. There are many more additional options you can specify to save you time, such as base jack types, U-head options, handrail types, various deck materials, steel, wood or any other custom type you need, roof protection or top lift handrail height, frequency of automatic bracing, plan bracing and wall tie options. Scaffolding software understands that everyone scaffolds a little differently and we work closely with you to ensure all items are customised to suit your specific material, dimensions, individual building preferences and your personal scaffolding style. We are going to quickly trace the perimeter by clicking on the line icon and then the build plan icon to automatically build bays around this perimeter. Those bays will conform to defaults in the iSCAF setup we set for this plan. We will then be able to apply changes to each bay that differ from our setup defaults wherever we see fit to do so. We have now quickly completed the perimeter layout and we are now adding sloping ground information to this outline so that iSCAF can select the correct vertical standard heights and gear to adjust for areas that drop away from the base level of the scaffold. iSCAF can also adjust for sloping ground away from the wall face where the outer legs need to extend to a different length than inner legs, automatically adjusting to produce the most accurate plan and gear list for the job. I'm setting the north wall to drop from zero level to minus 1.5 metres at the 8.5 metre distance mark and then return smoothly to zero level at the 14 metre mark. We now set a height value of 6.5 metres to the outline or perimeter of our building so that we can later show the area the building occupies in 3D. I'm now ready to use the build plan command to have iSCAF automatically build scaffold bays around this perimeter according to the defaults we set for this drawing. It has added bracing, handrails and hop-ups according to the defaults we set. iSCAF has now rapidly provided the basic bay layout to use at this site and now we can modify it as we please to suit our own design strategy. We are free to add, move or delete walls, add, move or replace bays and adjust the basic plan to be as customised and as precise as we wish it to be. Here we will increase the length of a bay and extend the wall to the east. Here we will insert a bay to the north wall. 
As you can see, through the various editing commands, you can customize almost every aspect of your scaffold design, adding moving or adjusting elements such as side brackets or hop-ups, corner brackets, edge protection and handrails, bracing, plan bracing, bay heights, deck types and deck levels, hop-up or side bracket types, heights and sizes, planking and many other items. The iSCAF system is built upon the drawing, drafting and design platform of AutoCAD, which is the de facto standard of the drafting industry, allowing iSCAF near universal compatibility with other drawing software. iSCAF adds the industry specific knowledge of scaffolding and scaffolding systems from across the world, from quick stage to cup lock, ring lock to frame and everything in between, in both metric and imperial to really simplify and speed the drawing and estimating of scaffold so that almost anyone can build scaffold designs with it. Here we are adding some bracing and adding a bay to the south of this wall. We will move this wall slightly to allow space for the jacks. and we can change the hop up size to a three board to bridge the gap we just made. We will add some planking to this bay, measuring the distance we need to cover. And confirming or adjusting the plank or plate offered for this distance and the number. And we will measure and provide tube and clamp handrails at the same time. We will add some end bracing. We will now add the various access components to the design. We support many different variations of ladder, aluminium stair and stretcher stair configurations to support different jurisdictions in building requirements, with more being added on a continual basis as the need arises. Ladder towers and aluminium stairs can be placed in line, replacing a bay if required. We are going to remove this south wall and replace it by drawing a line where we wish the wall to be. We are just clicking on two end points and IceCAF builds the bays for us. IceCAF allows you to build scaffold walls in any position you desire. And if you choose, you can avoid tracing parameters and plans altogether. It's completely up to you. I'm now going to edit the details of a few of the centre bays here to have them step over or elevate their base level to 3.5 metres, as you would to step over a balcony or provide vehicle access to the centre of the site. There are a full selection of bay labelling options including bay numbering, heights, widths, lengths and stages that can be freely added and removed to your bays. IceCAF supports assigning stages to your scaffold so you can specify individual sections of your scaffold to be estimated separately to the entire design. You can also assign different level ranges and use any combination of level and stage designations to list your scaffold lists, allowing easy separation of the design into segments that can be individually estimated, picked and delivered. We are now marking areas of the plan with section elevation tags. These will automatically build section elevations in both end view and face view orientations that can be included with your plan to show erectors exactly how you wish your design to be built. Section markers are automatically added to the plan. Here our face section will show our bays stepped over by 3.5 metres on the south wall. We will just add a stretcher stair and aluminium stair to the design before moving on. You can see there are several different stretcher designs, all of which can be customised to your individual style and dimensions.
We will add an aluminium stair to the westmost bay of this wall. In the interest of demonstration, we will stop customising this plan before it is complete, save this 2D version of the plan so that we can come back to modify it if necessary, and build the design into 3D. When iSCAF builds a 2D plan into 3D elements, as it is doing now, it builds each individual item, including standards, transoms and ledges, boards, side brackets, etc. separately into the drawing. Each of these elements has information embedded within it that includes the part number, name, weight and rates that is customisable to match your specific systems and hardware. All the information needed for iSCAF to identify each part correctly is added, allowing iSCAF to rapidly collect this information and produce the most accurate material lists. The design has now been built into 3D and we can rotate and zoom this in any direction in order to check that the design is perfect. At this stage we would be looking for areas where we have neglected to provide adequate fall protection and identify any other issues, note them down so we could return to the 2D plan, rectify those issues and then save and rebuild. Note here the base stepping up on the south wall and the sloping ground with longer standards on the north wall. Scaffolding software understands that even within the same scaffolding system such as QuickStage, there can be large variations in exact sizes and weights of items. We work closely with you to customise your specific iSCAF installation to match your exact dimensions and provide the training and resources for you to customise item codes, descriptions, weights and rates to match those specific to your organisation. We are now going to set up an A3 paper layout of this design ready to print or send as a PDF to a client or an erector. iSCAF allows you to customise the layout design of your drawing printout to whatever design you wish and it provides some defaults to add grid references, logos and title block information to your paper layout. We will just add some generic details about the drawing here. There we have a grid reference generated on the outside edge of the paper. And some details of the drawing in the title block in the bottom right corner. We can now rapidly add elements of the plan and design into this paper layout. We will start with the 2D floor plan of the, of the design which was autosaved just before we built 3D. Our marked section elevations have been automatically built during the 3D process and we can now include these as well to provide additional information about our design. Here is our section A side elevation from the north wall showing the composition and order of gear. And let's also add our B face section elevation detailing the 3.5 metre step over bays we asked for on the south wall. We also have the option of placing any number of three-dimensional views of the design into the paper layout where we can zoom in and rotate to any angle of the design. We might want to highlight an access area or a specific design feature so we could then add comments or directions on the page to help our erectors. Or we could use arrows to call out instructions on the drawing to show how we want the scaffold erected. We can even change the 3D view to represent solid objects which will bring the solid building feature to the fore, showing the area the building occupies in the design which can make it easier to identify elements of the drawing by obscuring items on the far side of the view, making it easier to focus on a particular area. You can also turn off individual elements such as boards to allow greater vision of your design. Let's add one more 3D view into this layout to highlight another area of the design. There can be as many of these as we wish.
Again, we can freely rotate and zoom the view within this 3D viewport. Let's change this viewport to a front view to highlight the sloping ground and step over portions of the plan. If we are now happy with our paper layout, we can print out to a printer or convert the paper layout to a PDF file that can be easily distributed by email and printed at the destination. Here we have the resulting PDF file opened, ready for distribution and printing. We are now going to return to the main drawing to generate our material lists to quote for this scaffold design. We just click on the quote command and select all items in the drawing and iSCAF counts the elements, adds them up and produces an accurate list ready for quotation or export or for interfacing directly with our iRent software. You can see that we have part numbers, descriptions, quantities, weights and rates listed here. You can specify up to 10 different rate schedules allowing you to structure pricing as you like. You could specify rental pricing per month in one rate group for instance and sales prices in another. We can also restrict our gear list to be for all stages, specific stages and any combination of levels and stages upon any portion of the drawing that we select for quotation. We are able to export these gear lists into a variety of formats including HTML, CSV, Excel, PDF, etc. Here we have an HTML output of our gear list including linear meterage, area and volume calculations. Let's change the selected stage to all and recalculate the items for the entire gear list. and we can create a matching gear list of the items needed. We can export it into Excel CSV format, ready for pro forma invoicing or export to other applications. We also have a wide variety of configurable options for PDF formatting to create output that suits you and your clients. iSCAF can be integrated with the iRent inventory and invoicing modules for complete scaffold management. Thank you for watching our iSCAF overview. To find out more, go to www.scaffoldingsoftware.com.